a project that started months ago. You have a structure that needs to be engineered and designed to carry the wind loads and the structural loads from all the weight that we're putting on it. And it towers over the north end zone. Basically what we ended up doing was doubling the size of the old display. Altogether this is going to create a, a real intense sound for the stadium as well as the video complement to get the fans amped up. The new $3.5 million scoreboard is nearly two and a half times bigger than its predecessor. There are more than 2.5 million LEDs in the 30 by 80 video board. There's enough cable in the structure to wrap around Faroe Field nearly 40 times. Picture will be basically like sitting at home looking at your LCD flat screen TV. The scoreboard doesn't come cheap but Mike Alden says Missouri needed the new technology. The scoreboard and sound system that we had at Faroe was 12 years old. It was certainly outdated, not only technology, but the equipment itself was kind of breaking down. And so it was going to be important for us to do something or else we wouldn't have had a, a video replay board and sound system. Allnut says the scoreboard will attract fans and future Tigers. And when they see the commitment that the university has to, to being able to build, you know, such a fine project and, and know that the commitment is there to when they come to making a choice to come to the University of Missouri that obviously you know whether it's a video board or whether it's some other type of brick and mortar project that we're doing and I think they feel that you know obviously the commitment is there to, to make their experience at the University of Missouri you know first class and, and by far the best experience they could possibly have. As a former Tiger athlete, Allnut played at Faroe before Mizzou even installed a video board and now he says he's a little jealous. I think I'd be distracted too much looking at the board and either um, miss a tackle or uh, who knows what would happen. But I, honestly, yeah, I mean, I, it would have been very exciting to, to play in front of that uh, project. Catherine Crane, KUMU8 Sports, Columbia.